Oil is falling. One forty-seven dollars, a hundred and ten dollars, sixty dollars, forty-five dollars. Once upon a time, oil was sold in America for as cheap as one cent per liter. Fifty years ago, these countries produced most of the oil. Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, and Kuwait. They sold their oil at whatever price they got. My price is ten dollar a barrel, but other countries are selling their oil for nine dollars. Okay, here take mine for eight dollars. One barrel equals one hundred fifty nine liters of petrol. Soon, the whole world wanted more and more of their oil. We have to charge higher prices for our oil, but how? In 1960, these five countries formed a group. Our group will now be known as the Oil Producing and Exporting Countries (OPEC) for short. And together, we'll sell our oil at only one price. Eight more countries joined them. And the price of oil suddenly shot up. Other countries like UK and Russia also found lots of oil. We are not part of OPEC and will decide our own price. The world was soon flooded with more oil from more than 15 nations, keeping price low. At about forty dollars a barrel. Buy my oil. No, buy from me. But that was about to change. Fifteen years back, when the U.S., China, and Europe were growing, they needed lots of oil. This made the price rise. When the price of oil increases, the cost of transporting goods from the factories to shops rises. By road, by sea, by air. From end 2003, the price of oil began jumping up. As India is the fourth largest buyer of oil in the world. Prices of foods and vegetables began to rise. The USA also makes oil, but uses more than they produce, so they too faced rising prices. Rupees seventy per liter. But countries that were selling the oil, oh boy, they were having fun, building malls, fancy buildings, giving almost free petrol to its citizens. As it so often happens, no party lasts forever. 2011 in the U.S. We have discovered a new way of removing oil from under the earth's crust. It's called fracking. And while it costs over hundred dollars to buy oil, we can now make it at sixty dollars. China and Europe, that only ten years back required large amounts of oil. Business is not good, so we don't need as much oil as before. With these two blows at the same time, the price of oil began to drop. The biggest oil buyer, USA. Was now going to become an oil seller. By 2020, we'll make more oil than we need. Today, these three countries make the most oil: 11 million barrels, USA; 10 million, Russia; 9 million, Saudi Arabia. Now it was the turn of oil-producing countries to feel the heat. Their citizens were used to cheap petrol and low prices. So when the price was raised, they were angry. We want cheap petrol. We want cheap petrol. Countries like India were very happy with lower oil prices, 
and have saved crores and crores of rupees. For the first time, one liter of air fuel cost less than one liter of petrol. Now I can travel without worrying about the cost. Prices from other sources of energy are falling. Solar energy, wind energy, making sure oil prices cannot rise very fast. The price of oil keeps rising and falling, but it seems that oil will remain cheaper than it was before.